Uh, so the thing that comes with me the last time when we left it off, we were still working with that um, Jason Hyde, right? Like the thing. Yes. So um, I, um, frankly, I have not had time to work on this. I just literally signed on a new job yesterday. So I'm just, I've just been like crazy. I'll explain it to you later. But okay. I thought we'd review this together. I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to present today. But um, so since you brought it up, maybe the job. Okay. 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 Sounds good. Okay. So do you know where we left off? Um, <laughs> it has been like one month now. <laughs> uh, I don't know what you mean. So I just, no if I remember right, we hadn't actually gotten to the SQL SQL queries on CSC. Okay, we maybe. Allows you to actually do SQL queries. So let's uh talk about it and uh, see what we can do uh with this. So. Let's just look at the syntax of the CSV because I thought that that was a bit of interesting. The CSV SQL, right? you can directly uh, execute SQL queries on the CSV file. We don't need to actually pull it into any uh, table or something. So if it comes from a relational database and it's possible trying to execute SQL queries on that database and extract the data as a CSV. Uh, and of course, I think we've already seen SQL to CSV queries. We saw this earlier. So that's uh, how it's done here. But here, this this particular um, this is called C C S E S Q L. So a basic command looks like so. This this is actually straight uh, uh, SQL. Select sum. This is an aggregation as sum from standard I N. So what? How about the standard I N? Sorry. I'm a little bit sorry. Go ahead. No, go on, go on. Oh. If you pass standard input to CSC SQL, then the table is named as standard INC. So it's all, by default, it is named as standard INC. The types of the column are automatically inferred to the data. And as you'll see later in the combined CSC file section, you can also specify multiple CSC files. So this is using the SQL light dialect of SQL, which generally has some subtle differences with respect to the SQL standard. Um, So um the I think I need to pull up our studio hold on. Is your studio session up uh, some short chunks of link by any chance for the command line? You say what? Is your our session up for the same command line? Because I have to like restart it and do all of that and it will take some time. Uh I had to start it maybe. Okay, so then let's just go through this and read it. Okay. So okay, extracting and reordering the columns. Uh, I think this is not being done via SQL, but then I thought of what are all the things that you can apply in CSC SQL. It's kind of interesting. Let's just take a look at it and see. Um CSC SQL, what are the commands that we have? Mm -hmm. Um, it would be because here I see that they have a select, but I really want to know like what is how powerful it is in terms of what you can do. I wonder if you can just actually do a uh a CSV file. If you accidental on this, show this it doesn't as um, usage. Okay. Motion string insert. So I don't know what yeah. uh, the query, look at this. Execute one or more SQL queries when delimited by a uh, semicolon and output the result in this. Okay. So this is the interesting part. I want to know how um what are the kind of queries that we can use here? I wonder if this could be um I don't know where we can actually see what queries are available here. Um, right? Mm -hmm. Like if we, I don't know if the entire okay, using the query option may cause round. Yeah, may cause rounding introducing Python mm -hmm. Okay. It says it's a SQL light version, but having said that, I don't know. So do, I mean, do you find it like um 
to use um, SQL query on CSV file. So I think if, that's very powerful, Shamsik. In fact, uh, if I had had the sense to, um, let me just tell you quickly. I signed in on a new job uh, yesterday, like literally. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, <laughs> and, and they made me to start on Monday. And my kids yeah. are you know, on school on Mondays. So all of a sudden, work was, I've been, you know, I resigned my previous job about four weeks back, and I've been like, you know, pretty chill and everything. And all of a sudden, it's like, oh my God, like, this is ridiculous. So I, I'm, I'm just like, you know, like scrounging now. So I actually did not look at this. My apologies. Um, but I didn't want to cancel it because it's already been done. So, uh, but the thing, what I, I love as well, and I think it's really powerful. And if I can do it directly in a CSV, like, you already got me here. Like, see, all mm -hmm. of the things that we've seen so far, Shams, in fact, they were not that impressive to me. Like, okay, you can mm -hmm. correct it. You can mm -hmm. search, stream, you can do whatever. Like, okay, mm -hmm. you know, it's just like good from a knowledge point of view. However, mm -hmm. if it gets to this, then I can actually do it directly in this. I'm completely sold because then you don't need to have put in a table. It's it's yeah, it's, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's a way to like actually get um, you know, um your initial queries to be mm -hmm. so, Okay. So, uh, let me see. Uh, uh, okay, so here it's all selects. Uh, you can do the path, so it's cool because you can provide the path, etc. And of course, for us, it's not an issue. So you can even join queries. So, well, this is not a join. This is uh, this is just a straight where. Well, I mean, normally for joins, you do all correct. So I don't know why they have a where. There's clearly something wrong in the syntax. Are you familiar with SQL or something? No. <laughs> So normally when you have two tables that you have, so this is called a join. Okay. Okay. Look there. You use on as a uh, your class mm -hmm. to join the common column. Yeah. So here you're joining on people dot name from one table to mm -hmm. children dot name of the other table. So that's the common columns there, and that's how we don't get a Cartesian column. Oh, mm -hmm. just looks so like R, like Tadivas. Exactly, exactly. So I haven't used DB prior, so I don't know how um, you know if, uh, how the syntax is there. But when you do a join, you basically have col columns that have in common, and sometimes you may not have columns that have in common. And in that case, you it will become all the rows in one table times all the rows in the other one, and uh, all the columns in both as well. So in other words, if you have hundred rows here and you have two hundred rows here, when you don't have a common column, it becomes hundred times two hundred. So it's extremely inefficient if you don't join on a particular column. And normally the syntax for join is on, like there is just a elective, it's just a filter, you know. So I don't understand this. I really need to, I'm really interested in this. Obviously, this is um they are um they are definitely doing the white cards here because there's a you have this thing. It's very, very conscious of being chilling this one. Um, HTTP details, this one. All the, all the real power from SQL queries comes from the excellent H2 database engine, allows full SQL. You see that? And very fast execution. That means you can pretty much do um, any kind of SQL that appears. We're not limited by, you know, just like for a few commands. So, yeah. So you can do all the SQL stuff on the terminal. Yeah, because it's using the H2 database. So mm -hmm. H2, uh, any query that's a valid SQL for the H2 database engine. So I don't know if that's mm. okay. okay so this is H2. Okay. Um let's see. Um SQL grammar that you're mm. Let me just take a quick look at this one to see how Let's do one question. So if you don't mind, let's just go down this thing. Approximate number the grammar and okay. So this is just telling you what value is that I'm gonna see. Okay, and this is just casting. Casting is when you want to take it from one data type and take it to another data type. Like you you can't cast up, uh, you can't cast down. So in other words, a string can't go to an int, a double can't go to an int, but an int can go to a double. And the character can go to a string. So you can cast up into a larger memory. And of course, I think that also varies across the place in general. You know what I mean? 
So this is what Carlson does, but I'm going to actually see what it's like. Come on, see, these are all the data that it's being supported. Okay. Uh, Strength, extended geometry, long, escape, escape. This is really great because I think uh, so. These are the authors. I don't know which one they Merge when you are finished. Windows, you know, these are all Windows functions systems. So I'm telling you, if this opens up Windows functions, which is really a very powerful feature of SPM, I need to research the CSC a little bit more. So, you know, I'm not getting that big of a color from here. Um, what is this? Uh, Python 3 CSC. So, this must be a Python graph or whatever. You know? um, are you there, Shamsuki? Thomas, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Ah, okay, because you were like muted all of a sudden. Sorry. So I yeah. <laughs> Um, I was muted uh, because there was some noise besides me. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, let's uh, go back here. So, um, so there's some anything that's making an SQL alchemy can be included in uh, my SQL, my CSC SQL. Okay. But all the databases support it. But wait, I think I saw something here that said uh, that it only supports the mm -hmm. system type version. Do you remember reading that? Please keep in mind that the CSC employs SQL like dialect, you see? Mm -hmm. So the SQL yeah. dialect is what is being supported here. Okay. So that's just. So, oh, so there is different kind of dialect for the yeah. SQL. Yeah, so what we can try and see is SQL like dialect. Uh, what is it called? I'm sure the chance CSC is on the right? CSC SQL. So each one has it is on operation different. I think it's not as they say it's not as verbose. Okay, so. Oh wow, I'm really just really a scary amazing people like database. Um, um SQL like okay, let's just go to the SQL like database. It's a C language library, so that obviously it's gonna be like this in the past. And it has a fully featured database engine. It's the most used database engine in the world. How many okay. Secret light. Secret light. So I, I, you know, funny, even I didn't know what So I think it must be providing APIs to the underlying, the, you know, that there's a C language library. It must be having, see, these have, these are all the SQL language. Uh, but I don't know what the SQL is. Uh, SQL syntax. Okay, let's take a look at that. Is that okay? Shamsa, can you hear me? Okay, simple statement. Yes. I can't hear you. Create you see, these are all very standard. Okay, you have um auto table analyze. I mean, these are all like for the determining your execution plan. I catch on an RT. Begin is if you're writing like a script, you know, like a something that you have within the beginning and commit is when you have transactions. Uh, can you hear me? I found that in. Hello? Okay, yes, yes. okay, yeah. Yes. So, okay, so I didn't see this. So, it seems to be that it's um, um, robust. So, these are all your um, SQL statements that are available. Okay, so you can do all of these create and things like that. 
they can do update, etc. But uh, what I wanted to see was the select statement to see what is possible there. So I want to look at the select button. Select common table. So they can they do CTEs. So CTE is something like a temporary table, which is very efficient. So you can pull tables into a CTE. Shamsuddin, I think this is life problem for me because I didn't know you could do SQL off of a straight um you can use uh, uh, a scale off of a straight CSC. Can you imagine the power of this? Like in every other database, relational database, whether it's I work with Snowflake database, which is actually a warehouse, and it's awesome, it's elastic, but you have you can't directly, I mean you can you can query, I think S3. So if it's on Amazon S3, AWS, I think you can do it. I'm not sure. I've never tried it in Snowflake. But you can do many formats, but I've never seen ones where you can directly query the CSC. Or maybe I'm just under there. Okay, I need one with SQL Server. You have to put it into a database. I don't know what's no thing. But you realize how marvelous this is. If you don't have to mess with an additional step of taking that file and putting it into a database, and you're essentially getting the functionality of almost the entire SQL language. Mm -hmm. These so SQL, all, the SQL is also a kind of language because I can see a lot of stuff, right? It's somehow a language. Are you are you comfortable with SQL, Shamsudan? Sorry. Are you comfortable with SQL? No, I'm saying like um SQL is somehow like um look like a language, right? Because so, I have not. Oh. Yeah, it's a it's a query language, but the beauty is you're reading the data directly without having to go through all of this. You know, see, I'm very comfortable with the SQL, so for me, this is life altering. And mm -hmm. uh, wow, okay, let's go back here. Uh, do you use SQL in your job, uh, Shamsudin? Me, I have not used SQL. <laughs> okay, so I think. Do you want to take a small segue into seeing the um? You know, because um, one thing we can do is just pull up the CSV file, right? Like literally, that's all we have to mm -hmm. do. Okay. Uh, how how did they get this standard in or whatever? How how do you pass standard input to this? And that table is in. How do you pass the standard input? I forgot how to do it. No. Either in a previous exercise or something, we learned how to do standard input, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I forgot how we got on. Do you ever encounter standard in as a way to stream in the and so on? Let me check us. So this is the part you did. You did create where you did the curve and all the execution. See, this is like being able to open a file and doing all of that, which is like obviously super critical. But um, extending your path. Um, See, this is all about scripting and everything. So, oh, yes, uh, concept in here. Okay, mm -hmm. I think this is the one. In the previous two quotes, uh, quote snippets, both uh, they need the complete standard input at once. On the command line, most of the spike to the next command line to work in a stream fashion. So, complete standard input at once. Ah, so I think this is what you do, isn't it? Uh, okay. Well, let's see. Yeah, I think this one is reading from a file, right? From, from a file, right? Yeah, yeah. so then that will work. But how do we 
So let's Google what is SD in. Well, that is standard input, no? So I think that means yeah. something that's on, uh, maybe something that, I don't know, you can read on from our line. Not sure. Um, it means standard input stream. This accept text as input. So it is used to accept text as input, as CDN. So how did, we, how did it come here, though? Did it come hmm? I, how did we actually provide that uh, standard input? I uh, we actually went through this I don't know what it would be. I think we need to do this. The name is a bit of a system standard in the uh, what, what defaults to standard in? Uh, what is Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's video. <laughs> oh, streams are sorry. So streams are handled on uh, this so file descriptor or something like that. Okay. Um, we can see that she is here. Um, two basic commands. Sorry, there's a video here, right? Okay. I think it's the same link. <laughs> yeah. I thought Chrome is a little bit better. Um. So this is all about piping, but how do you stream them? I think it's just a text stream, isn't it? So it doesn't really matter. Um. Okay, so there are two there are a few ways to access your standard in. You can either do something from your keyboard. Mm -hmm. So if you have um read, then you will type that there or whatever. Read will read will access something from there. However, you have so I think it's just a, a way of um, getting something from from keyboard sounds stream. From the keyboard or from um or even yeah, so. redirecting stream um not college. I'm so sorry this is horrible. If it's input directly from the whole my computer battery is running out. Oh, <laughs> and, okay. uh, and, uh, and um, my charger is towards me. I hope I can be able to finish it up to the time. <laughs> okay, that's uh, that's fine. Do you want to like? Um, I think uh, I do need to discuss. It. Can I catch you on Slack if you have Slack on your phone or something? I need to mm -hmm. talk to you about this because I think my life is going to be a little bit insane for the next month since I've been onboarded and everything. Okay. okay. Offline and let me talk to you about it and um, decide. Mm -hmm. Because okay. I think what we really need to do is actually do an entire session on that CSC SPR. Because I don't know about you, but I'm very really excited about this country. Um, you know. Yeah, I, we can. We can do it next. The thing is, I I don't know if I'm going to be connected because even today you see how I'm not. I just. Um, I, um, yeah. Because yeah. what I what I think would be great is actually pull up a CSV file and then see all the things of SQL sequence that we can mm -hmm. do. And then um, and then 
um, one or more other people who can even join at the Crypt. You can use CSV Express to directly query one or more CSV files. Like you can actually join all the CSV files directly. You don't need a table. This is very powerful. So I think I really, this blows my mind actually. Mm. This really blows my mind. Um, okay, let's do this since you are out. Do you have a Slack on your phone? Do I have? Slacks on your phone so that I can send you a direct message there. Let's, okay. uh, yes. you do have it? Yes. Okay, so I'll see you on your phone Slack. So maybe we can terminate this form now. So this chapter four is over. This chapter is over, isn't it? Starting data because that's where it stopped at the CSV. Mm -hmm. um, if you see summary and uh, they will, here they look into the JSON format, okay, just different kinds of formats, but really yes. it's mostly about how you can. Okay. Yes, each one. Okay, Shamsuddin, I'll see you then. Okay, thank you. See you.